J.J. Kinahan, the Investor Movement Index, the IMX, was up 4.4% in September. Second month in a row was up. So why all the buying in September? Is this the calm before the third quarter earnings storm or the election storm? Why was it moving up? Well, I think it, it, it's, it's two factors, Greg. I think part of it is before the uh, earnings season, more so than the election season, because really, you know, the, the volatility is actually low considering we're going into an election season. And part of it is also the fact that some of the names that our clients bought have a higher volatility than the S&P 500. It doesn't mean they're crazy volatile. It's just that the VIX is back near these, you know, 12 and a half, 13 levels where it's historically very low. Well, two stocks that your retail investors were picking up were Verizon and AT&T. Now, these telecoms did great in the first half of the year. They started uh, coming down uh, after, let's call it July. Right. So why were people buying them? Well, I, I think two reasons. Number one, people uh, kind of like to pick a bottom on a stock. But the more important reason is, again, the Fed didn't raise rates. It looks like December, as we speak, there's about a 60% probability they will, but we've seen this movie a lot of times. And one of the biggest things for investors right now is, how do I get yield? I'm going to retire. I need some return. And 1.75% on a 10-year yield is not going to cut it. So the search for yield continues. You and I have talked earlier in this year where we saw names like Exxon and Chevron be very popular because of they were able to play energy a bit and were able to play yield. I think that story continues. All right, well, another story that keeps continuing is Facebook. Mm -hmm. That has just been an elevator or an escalator <laughs> ride straight up. So it was continuing in September. It was. You know, it's, it's, it, it's, it's amazing. People keep pulling the trigger on it. It's, it's a crowd favorite, I guess you would speak. The interesting part about that is the other side of the equation. You and I talk a lot, and Apple is normally a crowd favorite. It was sold last month, so it's interesting to me that Facebook continues to be a buy. Apple was a sell, so I think as a stock near, even though Facebook's nearing its 52-week high, Apple at its 52-week high, people had more faith to put the money in Facebook at those levels than they did in Apple. I want to talk about Apple in a second. I just want to get to Tesla, because this was another net buy, and this stock really has bounced around between 200 and 250. Right now, it's at closer to the bottom of that range. Is it going to turn up? You think it has the legs to make it over that 250 mark by the end of the year? Well, I think it'll be it, it'll be hard pressed. You know, they, they had the news about Solar City, etc. Uh, but they also had news that they sold a lot of vehicles last month. You know, for Tesla. And so overall, we'll see. There, there's so many questions around them. It's one of those companies that's so easy to get excited about. And I think that a lot of investors want to have that because it may not be the play for tomorrow, but a lot of them see the potential in what Tesla can do and want to own that longer term. All right, then finally, you mentioned Apple. Let's go back to it. That was a net sale right. in the month of September. A lot of people say, as Apple goes, so goes the market, is the market leader. So talk about Apple's direction going forward. Well, to your point, Apple was the number one held and number one traded uh, stock at our firm in the last two years. And so with that, you know, as I said, Apple up near, you know, highs we haven't seen in quite a while. As you mentioned, the new product. So people see that and they're like, well, maybe it's time to sell Apple because what's next, so to speak? There's nothing on the horizon. What's interesting to me with that is you look at the stocks that were sold last month. It's a, that, a, Alibaba, which also retail traders tend to like, a near 52-week high. Netflix. Netflix. Three stocks that retail traders, we talked, you and I, three months ago about them buying Baba and Netflix. Now there are 52 week highs, people selling them. Apple, I think the, the, the question mark being, did they sort of peak on their excitement with Apple as we head into the holiday buying season, so to speak? Is there enough excitement to keep Apple going? Well, they're getting a lot of help from Samsung. Thanks a lot, JJ. <laughs> Great to see you, Greg. Thanks, buddy. And thank you for watching Street.